How's it going, everybody? Nick Daniels here, coming at you live, man, yet again. And today, uh, we're uh, back at the desk. We're back with the microphone here. Uh, but temporarily, just got the laptop hooked up. And I figured we'd talk about Bumble Premium. Uh, I actually bought it for one week, and I wanted to share my findings and my results. Uh, so originally, I was going to title this video Bumble Scam, uh, because, well, as you can probably tell, it didn't really work out too well with Bumble Premium. Uh, so how this actually originated was probably about, like, uh, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I'm on Bumble and uh, I'm going through, you know, swiping left, swiping right. And apparently I had one match waiting for me. Someone had swiped right on me uh, previously. So I'm going through the, the through the list that's available um, to me there. And anyway, I'm going through the profiles and whatever. And I swipe left on a girl without even really looking at her. I just kind of was like just instinctively going left and I missed a potential match. So I was like, oh, shoot. I think she actually might have been kind of cute. I didn't even, you know, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay for the uh, Bumble Premium for one week, just one week, and I'll get the uh, undo feature so I can go back, see that profile, and uh, go from there. So I pay for the uh, one week. It's all good, right? I've got I've got all the features, and uh, I try to go back, and it's not available. So apparently it was only available like after I had actually purchased it uh, and then had gone through profiles. So the whole point of buying it is completely not. After the fact, um, I got a couple of the little super likes that they get you, uh, which resulted in nothing. Um, I got the compliments feature, which resulted in nothing. Um, I can't remember if I got a boost, uh, which instinctively re resulted in nothing. Uh, and I think the entire time I actually only got one match, uh, which inevitably just didn't, doesn't work out naturally. You know, that's always how these matches go. Uh, so with, within one week, basically the moral of the story, we're making it pretty quick. Uh, the moral of the story is I don't actually really recommend it. It didn't make any difference. I've actually had more success as a free account than I have as a premium account. You know, I know a lot of the time in these apps, uh, when, before you pay, they will try to like swamp you with some fake likes to be like, Hey, hey like people are liking you. Um, and again, that's what that is. A lot of the time is, is these are fake profiles to entice you to purchase this. Um, Bumble kind of does it too by, you know, Oh, like some people have liked you, but you can just freely go and do that. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, again, short video here, would I recommend Bubble Premium, even just for the one week, uh, I would not, I would absolutely not, actually, um, it just w really wasn't that great of an experience, and, and I don't even really think it was that worth it, for the money, so, I mean, if it was like a dollar, I would probably do it, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't a dollar, so, alright, thanks so much for watching, everybody, we're gonna see you in the next one, take it easy, uh, Nick Daniels signing out.